Hey guys, welcome back to Doctor Who. Before we get started, I just want to very quickly say a huge thank you to everyone for all of your support, for watching the videos, for loving the videos, for all of your comments. My goodness, you guys are amazing. Like you really just make me feel so good and so happy. And I honestly cannot thank you all enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so excited to watch this next video, so let's go. Whoa. Oh, come on. This is a dream come true. Oh, what's his hair? So long. False alarm. No. Leaf blowers. Use a ray. That's not a leaf blower. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Where is everyone? This is busy. Really restful and unhealthy. Ooh, spying neighbours. Well, I wanted to see how you were. You know me, I don't just abandon people when they leave the TARDIS. Oh, you came here by mistake, didn't you? Yeah, big mistake. But look, what a result. <laughs> look at this bench. What a nice bench. <laughs> what will they think of next? <laughs> Hmm. So, what do you do around here to stave off the, you know, boredom? boredom. We relax. Mm. We listen to the birds. Yeah, see? Birds. Lots of birds. Nice. Oh, blimey, my head's a bit. There wasn't a lot of time for What's the happening? Bird song back in the good. Oh. Oh! Oh, there's something in the air that's making them sleepy. Sorry. What? Oh! You're okay. I had a terrible nightmare about you two. Oh, what? That wasn't real? I thought that really what? happened. I'm getting all of it, you see. They've all had the same dream. Now, red flashing lights. Doctor, I also had a kind of dream. Yeah, so did I. Mm -hmm. Not a nightmare, though. Just, um, we were married. Yeah. In a sweet little village, and you were pregnant. Yes, I was huge. How can we have had exactly the same dream? It doesn't make any sense. It was a bit similar in some aspects. Which aspects? Well, all of them. Did I say nightmare? No, more of a really good mare. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter. We all had some kind of psychic episode. So, That's weird. Going back to reality, how come I can still hear birds? Yeah, the <gasps> same birds, the same ones we heard in the dream. Oh, oh sorry, they're stuck Stupid. in like a dream sequence. This is cool. You just had the same dream, didn't you? Back in the TARDIS. Weren't we just saying the same thing? Is this some time lordy thing because you've shown up again? Listen to me, trust nothing. Hang on, which is the dream, which is real? But we're awake now. Yeah, you thought you were awake on the TARDIS too. This is going to be a tricky one. Yes! Look, when we first saw Amy pregnant, I just thought, you know, I'm just going to go with it because you don't, don't ask too many questions. Just accept whatever happens. But that's not actually happening. They're in a dream. But what's real and what's not? <laughs> I'm thinking that pregnant Amy is the dream and they have to get, try and get out of the dream somehow. Yeah, so now they're back here. <laughs> Shall I want to get the manual? I threw it in a supernova. <laughs> the manual in a supernova. Why? Because I disagree with it. Stop talking to me while I'm cross. This is real. I'm definitely awake. Yeah, and you thought you were definitely awake when you're all elephanty. Hey. <gasps> Pregnant. And you could be giving birth right now. This could be the dream. Look for all the details that don't ring true. Well, we're in a spaceship that's bigger on the inside than the outside. With a bow tie wearing alien. Oh, the point. <gasps> oh. That's scary. It's dead. We're in a dead time machine. What? The birds. They'll be going Remember. back. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's a connection with the birds. Okay, this is a real one. Uh, what are you doing? Looking for motion blur, pixelation. Hello, Doctor. Hello. Hi. 
Is that that lady that was staring at them through the window? A doctor, not a nurse, just like you've always dreamed. Well, your dream wife, your dream job, probably your dream baby. Maybe this is your dream. What's that? Old people's home. Let's go and poke it with a stick. Can we not do the running thing? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's something going on in this place. Who's your friend? A junior doctor? Can I borrow you? You're the size of my grandson. Uh. Oh. You're incredibly old, aren't oh. you? Well, yeah, every time they hear those birds. It's bloody cold. The heating's off. The heating's off. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about Mrs. Poggett. She's so lovely, though. I wouldn't believe her nice old lady act if I were you. Everything's off. Sensors core power with drifting. We could be anywhere. Someone, something is overriding my controls. Well, that took a while. Oh. I heard such good things. Him in the bow tie. <laughs> what are you? What should we call me? You're the Time Lord, let's call me the Dream Lord. Nice look. Bow ties. <gasps> right. Interesting. I want to take a guess at what that is. Um, Dream Lord, he creates dreams. And what about the gooseberry here? Does he get a guess? If anyone's the gooseberry round here, it's the doctor. <laughs> well, there's a delusion I'm not responsible for. Yes. Oh, he is, isn't he, Amy? I have to sort your men out. Choose, even. I have chosen. Mm. Is you stupid? Oh, good. I've seen your dreams. Blimey, I'd blush if I had a blood supply. <laughs> Where did you pick up this cheap cabaret act? Me? Oh, you're on shaky ground. Am I? If you had any more tawdry quirks, you could open up a tawdry quirk shop. <laughs> the madcap vehicle, the cockamamie hair. I'm surprised you haven't got a little purple space dog. Just to ram home <laughs> what an intergalactic wag you are. <laughs> so here's your challenge. Two worlds. One is real, the other's fake. You're going to face a deadly danger, but only one of the dangers is real. Tweet, tweet. Time to sleep. Tweet, tweet. Or are you waking up? Oh, this is so fascinating. Oh, this surely is this is it's the very, dream world. Very bad. This Look is the dream world. Your brain is completely see-through. If you die in the dream, you wake up in reality. Ask me what happens if you die in reality. What happens? You die, stupid. That's why it's called reality. One reality was always too much for you, Doctor. Take two and call me in the morning. <laughs> I don't like him. Who is he? I don't know. They've all gone. Oh, all the people. Yeah, this one is the fake world. Oh, my God, we We're all dreaming the same dream at the same time. I'm sure there's a dream giveaway at hell, but my mind isn't working because this village is so dull! <laughs> Okay, it's not coming. What? This is my life now, and it just turned you white as a sheet, so don't you call it elegant. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's that old lady again. We all know there's an elephant in the room. I have to be the size. I'm having a baby. <laughs> no, no, the woman's in real, but no. Is nobody gonna mention Roy's ponytail? This from the man in the bow tie. Bow ties are cool. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't hire Mrs. Poggett as a babysitter. Yeah, she's some sort of weird alien thing. The birds again. It's really cold. Do you got any warm clothes? Does it matter if we're cold? Yeah, this is the real world because you can see the doctor's tie is the regular colour. The other one is blue. Oh, dear. Is that meant to be like that? No, we were happy in the second of them. About to have a baby. If that life is real, then why would we give up all this? Because we're gonna get married. <laughs> yeah? We still get married someday. You don't want to anymore. Someday. I thought you'd chosen me, not him. You ran off with another man. Not in that way. It was the night before our wedding. We're in a time machine. We have to grow up eventually. Says who? Ah, Rory, wind. Uh, Amy, could you attach this for the monitor, please? It's a generator. Get winding. <laughs> Why is the Dream Lord picking on you? Why us? Why not? Oh, is that the crack? We're in trouble, cold star. It's not a heating malfunction, we're drifting toward a cold star! So this must be the dream, there is no such thing as a cold star. Is that possible? Oh, I can't know everything. Why does everybody expect me to always? Okay, this is something you haven't seen before, so does that mean this is the dream? I don't. No, but there it is. And I'd say we've got about 14 minutes until we crash into it. But that's not a problem. Because we'll have frozen to death by then. Oh. What are we going to do? Oh, 
Oh, this is so you, isn't it? What? A weird new star, 40 minutes left to live, and only one man to save the day. Descent in the ranks. There was an old doctor from Gallifrey who ended up throwing his life away. He let down his friends and we run out of time. No! Oh, you see, this is the real one. I just feel it, don't you? Hang on, wait, did everyone oh. turn to sand? Doctor, what are you doing and what are those piles of dust? They're people. What happened to them? Oh! I think they did. Did they eat no. the kids? Attack of the old people? Oh, that's ridiculous. Let's all jump under a bus and wake up in the TARDIS. You first. Leave her alone. Tall, dark hero. Leave her alone. <laughs> Just leave her. You're not quite so impressive, but I know where your heart lies. <laughs> Just shut up and leave me alone. No idea how you can be here, but there's only one person in the universe who hates me as much as you do. Maybe you should worry about them. Oh. But they look so harmless. <laughs> Are you all right? You look a bit tense. He used to slip me the odd free toffee. Oh. Did I not say thank you? Oh. How did he do that? I suspect he thought himself. Don't get... Oh! So there's a whole creature inside her, inside all of them. They've been there for years. They've been waiting. That is disgusting. They're not going to be peeping out of anywhere else, are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh OK, leave them. Leave them. Talk to me. You are... Ethno things. Why aren't you at home? We were driven from our planet, planet by upstart neighbors. So we've been living here inside the bodies of old humans for years. Morning. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, God, the poor guy. Wait, stop. Oh, Amy. She's just a little old lady. <laughs> Mrs. Hamill, we don't understand. <laughs> That's so gross. No. Oh. Oh, no. I can't hit her. No, you wouldn't be able to. <laughs> oh, you would feel so bad, the little old lady. We just abandoned the doctor. Don't ever call me chumps again. You'll be fine. You know the doctor. He's Mr. Cool. Oh, no, the birds. He's not Mr. Cool right now. Don't worry oh, about the closed side. Don't you? You're probably a vegetarian, aren't you, you big flop-haired wuss? Oh, pipe down, I'm busy. Maybe you need a little sleep. Oh, no. Is he safe there? If you fall asleep here, several dozen angry pensioners will destroy you with their horrible pie thingies. Mm -hmm. Fingers in the ear. Come in! No! Come in. Is that safe? That's not a freezer or something? Oh. The three of us have to agree now which is the dream. Okay, which world do you think is real? This one. No, the other one. But are we disagreeing or competing? Mm. Oh. Can't we call for help? Yeah, because the universe is really quite small and there's bound to be someone nearby. Yep. Put these on. Oh, a poncho. Here we go. A poncho, boys. We're not going to die. But our time's running out. If we fall asleep here, we're in trouble. If we could divide up, then we'd have an active presence in each world, but the dream world is switching us between the worlds. Why? Why? That's a good idea, Veggie. Let's divide you three up Veggie. so I can have a little chat with our <laughs> lovely companion. Maybe I'll keep her, and you can have pointy nose to yourself for all eternity. We'll be back. We're going to have fun, aren't we? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, he's so sweet. S sorry. Oh. oh, it's a little baby's bedroom. It kind of looks beautiful at the same time. He always leaves you, doesn't he? Alone in the dark. And now he's left you with me. Spooky old, not to be trusted me. <laughs> Anything could happen. What? Who are you? The doctor knows you, but he's not telling me who you are. And he always does. Takes him a while sometimes, but he tells me. The only girl in the universe to whom the doctor tells everything. Yes. Hmm. So what's his name? Mm-hmm. 
Which one of these men would you really choose? Look at them. You ran away with a handsome hero. Pick a world, and this nightmare will all be over. They'll listen to you. It's you they're waiting for. Amy's men. Oh. Amy's choice. Is this all about Amy? Oh, jeez. What would she pick? The doctor or the perfect life with a husband, little baby? I, I need to find my friends. Friends? Friends are people you stay in touch with. Your friends never see you again once they've grown up. The old man prefers the company of the young, does he not? How did I get up here? I carried you. I'm afraid you may experience some bruising. Where's the doctor? I don't know. I want to do something for you. Oh, his ponytail? Really? I was starting to like. <laughs> Sorry, I had to stop before the butchers. What are we going to do? I don't know. I thought the freezing TARDIS was real, but now I'm not so sure. Maybe nothing is real, actually. Why are they so desperate to kill us? They're scared. Fear generates savagery. <laughs> Everyone, you always do. Not always. I'm sorry. Then what is the point of you? But this is not real. This is not real. No, this is the dream. Definitely this one. Yes. No. If we die here, we wake up, yeah? Unless we just die. Either way, this is my only chance of seeing him again. This is the dream. How do you know? <laughs> because if this is real life, I don't want it. Why aren't they attacking? Either because this is just a dream or because they know what we're about to do. Be very sure this could be the real world. Rory isn't here. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't. I honestly didn't. Till right now. I just want him. Okay. I love Rory and I never told him. He's not gone. This is just the dream. So, you chose this world. Well done. You got it right. And with only seconds left. That's fair. I hope you've enjoyed your little fictions. It all came out of your imagination. I have been defeated. I shall withdraw. <sighs> Something happened. I... What happened to me? Oh. Oh, right. This is good. I am liking this. Is it something I said? Could you tell me what it was so I can use it in emergencies and maybe birthdays? <laughs> What are we doing now? I'm going to blow up the TARDIS. What? Notice how helpful the dream lord was. OK, there was misinformation, red herrings, malice, and I could have done without the limerick, but he was always very keen to make us choose between dream and reality. He was offering us a choice between two dreams. How do you know that? Because I know who he is. So what's real? Don't end there. Oh, thank God. What's that? Speck of psychic pollen. Must have been hanging around for ages. Fell in the time rotor, heated up, and induced a dream state for all of us. Well. So that was the dream lord then? No. Sorry, wasn't it obvious? The dream lord was me. <sighs> but why didn't it feed on us too? The darkness in you, pair would have starved to death in an instant. I... But those things he said about you. You don't think any of that's true. Amy, right now a question is about to occur to Rory. I think you should give him your full attention. Because what I don't get is, you blew up the TARDIS, that stopped that dream, but what stopped the Leverworth dream? We crashed the camper van. You weren't there. You were already... Already what? Mm, dead. You died in that dream Mrs. Pocket got you. But how do you know it was a dream? Before you crashed the van? I didn't. Oh. Oh. Well then, where now? 
Or should I just pop down to the swimming pool for a few lengths? <laughs> Anywhere's good for me. I'm happy anyway. Amy's choice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> few things to say about that one um firstly i just want to say that i loved the story and the premise of it i thought it was fascinating being stuck in between two dream worlds and the viewer sort of has to work out which one is real as well i mean it was pretty obvious early on i think that the uh the dream world where amy was pregnant was not real because of the i thought because of the different bow tie and the suspenders they were blue and he normally wears a uh, dark red burgundy so that to me was a little indication that that world was not the real one but interestingly i don't think the frozen tardis was real either but because the dream lord said at the end there that you were given the choice between two dreams but then something also that i recall uh the doctor saying was that the dream lord was like one of his greatest enemies but then it was revealed at the end that the dream lord was actually himself so that was not expected at all and when he did say you know it's one of my greatest enemies i thought what is this this is the master but in a different maybe he's regenerated but i didn't want to say anything because i just i felt too stupid i thought this is not the master he doesn't this can't be him but that's where my mind went originally but i didn't say anything because you know i just thought that was that's too silly to even admit in the beginning the very first scene of the episode we see amy pregnant we know that it's been five years and i'm thinking to myself did i forget something that happened at the end of the last episode did they just get dropped off or something and the doctor went away but i thought no let's just wait and wait for this to get explained and it was not something that i was thinking it would end up being a dream which is hilarious to me because whenever something weird happens in a movie or a show one of my very first instincts is to think aha this is a dream and i never thought that with this one it wasn't even something that occurred to me so my greatest little thing that i grasp onto had eluded me I couldn't even get that right. So there are a lot of things in this episode that I didn't guess or I didn't get right. The only thing I think was the different color tie. And that's pretty much it. But my goodness, I'm really looking forward to watching this one again, uh, especially with that revelation at the end that the Dream Lord is actually like a version of the Doctor. Because that Dream Lord, he was saying some terrible things about the Doctor, like picking on his hair, his clothes, and just being so stereotypically this alien being. And then that makes me wonder if the Doctor thinks of himself in that way and maybe sometimes he does feel quite critical of himself and speaks down to himself which is really interesting it's not really something that i have thought a lot of but i wonder if that is true maybe the things that the dream lord actually said are things that the doctor really truly thinks about himself which is really sad one thing that i love with this episode is that I think Amy has finally now realized how important Rory is to her, how much she loves him. And that makes me so happy because we've known from the early days that she was in two minds about the wedding. She really wasn't sure at all, was she? I really did think that, is there any hope for them? Are they going to end up breaking up and when she tried to kiss the doctor and seduce him I thought this is no good I really don't see Amy and Rory 
being together. I don't see them, their relationship surviving. However, I don't know if I have those worries anymore because Amy saw a world without Rory and her first instinct was that she didn't want to be a part of it. She instantly decided that that's not the real world. I don't want anything to do with this world if Rory is not in it. And I just thought that was really wonderful. It's so satisfying to see Amy finally know what direction her heart wants to go in. And I think it really is Rory. And I'm really happy. One, because... You know, I don't really want to see a relationship with the doctor and the companion right now. And two, I know how traumatized and stressed and worried Amy has been about the whole wedding and her relationship. And to know that she's in so much better of a position right now just makes me feel so happy. I know I mentioned this in the episode, but seeing the TARDIS covered in ice, frozen, oh, it was so beautiful. It was gorgeous. There were some really, really nice looking scenes in the TARDIS, especially when it was covered. Well, I say it, I said she. She was covered in ice when everyone else was covered in ice. I just thought that was absolutely glorious. Excellent episode. Really, really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it as well. It was so good. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.